obviously from our perspective, um, building a, a, a culture here that's obviously steeped in the North East and Durham is really important to us and Ben, fantastic fit for us, uh, having left whatever it was six years ago and then to get him back, um, one of our own effectively, um, that, that ticked all the boxes. Clearly the Ben Rain that came back to Durham was a much better player than the Ben Rain that left um, in the intervening years. He's, he's proved himself to be um, an extremely good uh, cricketer in all, uh, in all formats. We've been very close over the last few years at Leicester so to think that maybe we wouldn't play together again was, was a bit of a sad point when that came to an end but to, to come up here and be able to, to change next to him again and, and see him again up in his, in his natural surroundings where he's very happy in Sunderland. Um, it's been it's been fantastic, and he's he's really welcomed me and helped me settle into to the area, and he's uh, he's excited to have me around. I hope, and I think it's been it's been really good to get out on that field again, wearing a different cap and, and making some new experiences with him. I used to go and watch my dad play. He used to play down in Merton, um, so that was our Saturday. Really, we'd go down there for the first ball, me and my brother. And Play cricket. We didn't watch much of it. We just there's an old tree out the back of the old clubhouse there, and we'd just be parked up there for the day playing cricket. I started playing when I was really young. I remember I played my me, me first game of cricket. I think I was five or six. Played under 13 game. It was for, started at Merton. Um, I remember th think I remember walking out there thinking I was going to be really good, but kind of forgetting in my own mind that these lads are like, twice my age. But um, I think by the time I got to 11, I, I was quite like. Big, I was quite big for an 11 year old so that did help when I was young um, but you know I think I just you know playing in the back garden against my brother against my dad I'd played a lot more cricket than a lot of the other lads my, at my age and you know, my family life helped that they were brilliant they would take us to I'd try and play under 11s 13s 15s 18s second team at 11 year olds so I was playing five games of cricket a week yeah. so you know it was a phenomenal way to learn the game and I was lucky to have very supportive parents do that and they helped us every step of the way really. I played all through the age group so I think I think I started when I was 10. I um, actually played my first game for Darren with Ryan Pringle so it's still quite funny to be you know still playing with him now. Yeah. Um, but yeah I think I was always you know one of the one of the better players in my age group. There were some really really good cricketers we had a strong age group coming through. Um, some really talented players so that kind of spurred you on you wanted to be better than the lads around you really. Uh, so you know I was lucky to have that competition and got to the age of, I think I was 15 when I signed on the academy and again I was put into an academy team which was you know, a ridiculous team, you're like you're Bothwick, uh, Wood, Stokes, they were the kind of lads that I was playing with week in week out and you know, to see what they, they, the cricketers they've gone on to, you know, well, straight away I'd see them playing second team at 15 thinking right, I want that's my next step and then I'd see them, them lads playing first team and like, that's my next step so it's always nice to have those lads to chase after. I actually got released on my 21st birthday from Durham, so it was it was a tough time. But you know, I'd, I'd got a few things wrong. I hadn't quite worked as hard that that year. I kind of got ahead of myself a little bit. Thought that I'd had a you know really good year the year before. Made a couple of the first team appearances, and I, I kind of just thought I'd cracked it. And I thought you know, well, I'm, I'm a good player. I'll be fine. So I didn't. Maybe I didn't put well. Not maybe I didn't put the work in that I should have. Yeah. And I paid the price. Um, I got released, and you know, I've seen a lot of really good cricketers get released and not get that second opportunity but you know I was lucky to get the second opportunity to go away and play my trade at Leicester for six years which I loved um, but you know at the end of the day my heart was always here this is the club I used to come and watch I used to sit up in the members lounge with my dad and you know I, didn't, I was too young to know who the players were but I remember thinking I want, I want to play out there. It was an interesting phase of my life really immediately after getting released I, I, I gave up to be honest with you. I'd, I applied for a job. I got. I applied for a job at um, the VW garage in Durham. Um, I was going to sell some cars, and I was fairly confident I was going to get it. And then, did, luckily, I didn't, if I'm honest. But if I had, that would have been me done. I wouldn't have played another game of cricket in my life. But then, you know, after, after kind of reflecting on that, I kind of sat there. and I was like, I, I, I think I deserve, deserve me. Like, well, I should give this another go. Last year was quite a tough year because I'd, I'd kind of decided I was going to leave Leicester and I found that whole process hard because you know I, I didn't like you know walking around Grace Road thinking I'm gonna leave here I felt guilty about it if I'm honest but and I was I was always finding it quite hard to work out which team I wanted to go to and then as soon as the Derham offer was on the table it was 
it was as if all the lights had turned on in the place. I was just that's what I want, and it didn't. You know, I was it was instantaneous, and it was out straight away. I just felt a massive sense of kind of pride. I remember my first day back. It was weird, like driving back into the ground. It was a bit. You know, I was I was kind of reminiscing about when I was younger and stuff like that, but. Walking in the dressing room, I felt like the new kid, but not the new kid in the way. There's a lot of lads I'd grown up playing with, some new lads I'd never met before. But, you know, I, one of the main reasons I signed for Durham was that I knew the lads would make it an, you know, an unbelievable experience, and it has been. They've been fantastic. I've, I've really enjoyed my time. I think one, one of the main reasons I did sign here was I, kind of, I looked at the competition within the squad. I, I looked at, you know, I looked at the, the, the raft of bowlers that we do have, and I thought, look, if I'm going to be playing week in, week out, i I've got to be on my game and I've got to improve because there's you know there's a, there's good bowlers there but there's also a good batch of young bowlers coming through that if I'm not switched on they're going to kick me out the game in two years time. He's a, a big character, he's got a big heart. Um, he's kind of the, the heart and soul of the team really. He's the he's the guy who encapsulates how we're doing, you know, he's the guy that people turn to and we need someone to bowl those nasty overs or go and bat in a, in a competitive situation where we're in a bit of a sticky spot. Um, so he's, he's the guy who, who I'd first take over that white line with me, who I've played with through my career. He's been the, been the guy who, who never gives up and, and kind of, he's the driver of the team.